What's up? How are you guys this week? It is free range meat weekly number eight. Today is actually Tuesday. I didn't film yesterday. You know, Monday since we're filling orders. I mean, really same with Tuesday and Wednesday. We're just filling orders the whole day. So my guys were like packing up meat all morning. And now since the ice deliveries come on Tuesday today, they just did like the foods orders and the egg orders. So, you know, no deliveries coming in, no new products to show you guys, but I'll, pr I'll probably film Monday moving forward. Uh, so our delivery finally came in. Uh, the organ supplements, this is gonna be for the third eye and the female fertility. So that's gonna be available when you guys see this video. The, uh, the pituitary and the pineal powders cost more than my car per kilogram. Let's just leave it at that. But when, when I put them in, very tiny bottles, like 20 grams, then you know, even if a kilogram of powder is like $8,000, that's why I can get it to you guys affordably. But it's definitely something special, the brain glandulars, but we'll, we'll talk more about that in the future. Uh, turkeys are coming in this week, so if you guys want Thanksgiving turkeys, definitely place an order. The pork share is now available. Eggs are back, so you know, we're kinda we're kind of full steam ahead moving forward. Still have a, a few things we're missing and things to work out, but we're doing okay, we're doing okay. By chance, and usually I'm not here that long, uh, I stayed to work late yesterday till like five o'clock and DHL actually came with those at like 4.30. So my guys wouldn't have been here. So uh, thankfully I was here to receive it and talk to the DHL guy. Really beautiful day today actually. It's like 65 degrees outside. It's what I was doing yesterday. We got magnesium oil just have to put the labels on these are glass bottles rinsed out with spring water and then it's made with spring water so the difference between like this supplement and the regular plastic bottle supplement is it's a world of a difference no other supplement companies are crazy enough to do this like me so my guys have been packing up orders all morning we got the ice in i gotta bring in my uh my co2 meter to test the air quality in here because now uh everything's like closed off and the uh, Dry ice does emit some gas, so I just gotta double check. There's more, more meat orders my guys have to fill. Nothing to really show you guys in the fridge. Uh, we did finish the beef barley soup. That's gonna be, uh, we're gonna put it in jars probably Wednesday or Thursday. When you make a soup like that with a lot of flavors, it has to sit at least like 24 to 48 hours for all the flavors to melt together. Then it'll, then it'll taste really good. Yeah, we got a lot of orders this week. This might be the most orders we've ever had, but technically not really, just because like a lot of them are turkey pre-orders and the eggs are back, so it's a little misleading. It's like we have a lot of orders and then we put some of them aside for uh, the turkey shipping next week. But yeah, my guys still have a lot of orders to do. A lot of orders. Yeah, this is definitely, 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 definitely the busiest week. Uh, I think my guys are gonna be packing orders until Wednesday, like fully packing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, where normally we can finish most orders by like the middle of Tuesday. So we should be fine. I might have to, uh, might have to hop back in the freezer myself eventually, but you know, like when, when you're doing something consistently, it's fine. But now like, I don't really know where everything is in the freezer because my guys move stuff around. So like, I'd have to, like, for me to fill orders. Now I could do it, but it'd be annoying, like, looking for stuff on every order. We did get in a uh, distributor delivery here. Just restocking a few things. Uh, they sell the Mountain Valley water. I think I told you guys. So now I got a new distributor for that. Still, still overpriced, but we got some raw sugar restock. We got the udon noodles restocked, macadamia nut butter restocked, some quick oats. And there was something new in here. I think it was organic yeast. We got the chocolate restocked. Uh, I'll have to show you guys that tomorrow after I get everything unpackaged, but uh, just a few things, a few things back. Yeah, they had this organic yeast for making bread because like the sourdough is very difficult to get right. And now in the colder weather, like the sourdough is kind of hard to, to do. So I bought this organic yeast and maybe I'll be able to to make the bread a lot easier. Yeah, so that's the distributor delivery that came in. I think there's another pallet somewhere. And those are some orders my guys already packed up today to go out. Yeah, so today, tomorrow, my guys are gonna be doing the meat orders, the foods orders, the egg orders. Try to get everything out this week and I am going to try to get the uh, organ supplements products ready because, you know, I didn't wanna market them until I had the female fertility and the third eye ready. And 
you know, I'm going broke, so I need I need some supplementary sales. Guys, if I didn't have these other businesses, the the naturals, the supplements, the Wi-Fi shielding, I would have never been able to run a meat business with these margins. Like it's really, really keeping me going. You know, like it's it's kind of crazy I have to be this creative and do so many different products, but whatever. So that might be it for today, Tuesday vlog. I don't think there's much else to show you guys, uh, but I'll show you that stuff from the distributor tomorrow when I unpack it. The turkey should be coming Thursday morning. Uh, so I'll show you guys the turkeys when they come in. We'll get another delivery typically on Friday with some more meat. So, and then maybe that other organ supplements order will come in next week. So definitely some exciting stuff, new things every week as usual. But I'll see you guys for tomorrow, Wednesday. What's up, guys? It is early on Thursday. Turkeys just came in. I didn't film yesterday, Wednesday, because I was about to have a stroke. I was stuck working like the whole day. I didn't have time to do anything else. I had to actually like physically help my guys. FedEx was like a nightmare. Just some stupid stuff, and they never showed up later after we packed up all the orders. We were basically in a rush to get all the orders finished because of the ice deliveries and all that stuff. And we basically got everything done, but we're still a little behind. Like normally we would have had all the egg orders sent out yesterday. We didn't do them yet. So we got to do all the egg orders today. Uh, but first right now, my guys are uh, packing up the turkeys. We got to organize them right now. I'll give you guys a look at, at how they came. So I tried to save a few hundred dollars by buying the, the regular corrugated boxes. I should have just got the double wall. But, you know, these turkeys are freshly slaughtered yesterday. It's gonna go in the cooler to stay nice and cold. These are uh, 16 pounds. These are the size like you guys are gonna get here. So we got a lot of turkey and uh, we also have like parts too. Uh, these are the heads apparently. I think he just he just bagged those heads up. They're not vacuum sealed. Um, but after we go through this, the thighs and the breasts and everything, I'll show you guys. These are like all the the turkey backs just in boxes if we ever have time or the resources to make the soup. This has breast on it. Oh, this is chicken. He did say there's chicken. Yeah, I'm not too happy about this because he, he was supposed to put three turkeys in each box. He put four, which, you know, going from a 50 pound to an 80 pound box makes it really heavy. And they also sent chicken with it, which means we're gonna be super, super busy. So, yeah. We just don't really have, a, don't really have time. Hopefully we can get all the, the turkey organized real quick. Uh, maybe just try to label the chicken really fast. Hopefully they didn't send too much chicken. And, uh, and then we gotta fill the egg orders and everything, but I gotta finish some organ supplement stuff and uh, get that product launched. I'm probably gonna do a few hours of work, uh, go home, maybe eat something, but I don't know, I don't know. I did wanna read a few reviews. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow instead. Good news is our Amish beef farmer is not as busy anymore, so we should have some fresh local beef back next week. Uh, some local ground beef as well as the steak shares and possibly some pet food. So that's going to be the main big thing next week. Of course, in addition, that, that's coming in next week. The main big thing we're doing next week is sending out the turkey. So let me let me put the camera down. I got to go help my guys organize that turkey. And uh, I'll probably talk to you guys either later today or tomorrow. I was complaining that I couldn't afford to set up that used restaurant equipment. You know what else I can't afford? For $3,000 worth of barley soup to go bad. <laughs> so, because of the electric stoves we have, they took too long to get to temperature. The soup actually is no good. So, I don't know, what is that, $1,000 mistake? On my end, at least. So, before we make any more barley soup, we're gonna uh, get the new equipment hooked up because I'm not, that's not happening again. I don't know. I don't know why the first batch was fine, and the second batch wasn't. Maybe it just too took too long to cool off in the fridge. All right, guys, it's about 
I did about five hours of work this morning and then went home to have lunch. So I am back to subject myself to some more torture. Uh, bro, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get jabbed. Start eating McDonald's and hope I have a stroke so I don't have to do this shit anymore. But, uh, all right, we gotta show you guys the delivery that came yesterday, which isn't that big of a deal. So we're just gonna head over to, uh, to the main room here. My guys have been packing up eggs all day. I've been packing up uh, powders. We got the the third eye is now available, made with uh, ten thousand dollar a kilogram pineal gland. Very special product. No one else sells that online, guys. You can't buy the brain glands online anywhere. We, we're the only company that has them, and we got the female fertility back too. So now we have seven products in male virility full spectrum big brain immune strength thyroid and then the third eye over there i gotta label the rest of them and the female fertility yeah we're just waiting on the adrenal which should be here next month so if, if you guys are like waiting to order adrenal i don't know i honestly don't know if it's gonna come in but if it does probably the end of december so it's, it's still a while away still a while away we restock the mouthwash pretty popular product and then we got a few restocks over here. So you guys really like the chocolate. We got plenty of the organic chocolate back in stock. We got a lot of the organic sugar. You guys bought all of our organic sugar to make water kefir. Uh, we also restocked the udon noodles. Uh, so we completely sold out of them. I probably ate about half of them myself, but uh, the new product we have is organic instant yeast. I ate a loaf of bread for lunch today made with this yeast. I enjoyed it a lot. It's very different than sourdough. I gotta take one of these home. We also restocked the uh, macadamia nut butter. Right over here. The macadamia nut butter is back too. So the difference between like sourdough and making bread with that yeast is, you know, it's like bread that you're used to eating. Like if you go sit down in a restaurant or, or buy a loaf of white bread, Bread made with that instant yeast, it's gonna taste like that. It's delicious. If it's fresh, organic, made with good ingredients. Sourdough is like really hard and dense and very difficult and time consuming to make. So I'm happy that I'm gonna be uh, using that yeast now so I can make bread in a few hours instead of spending all day if I don't have the time. It's still like, I still put some sourdough starter in and it's just not waiting for the full fermentation. The yeast really speeds it up. I told you guys earlier, hopefully that fresh beef comes in next week. We got a lot of eggs, guys. My guys, I told you, my guys have been doing eggs all day. So we got, I think, like three pallets of eggs going out. And then we still have some meat orders that we ship that are more local. That's going to be it for today, Thursday, guys. We got, I showed you some of that turkey, but we have, like, so much turkey and so much chicken that needs to be labeled. It's going to be, like, half a day just labeling stuff tomorrow. Uh, all the... The fresh large turkeys are ready to ship Monday. It didn't seem like it was 300 turkeys, but yeah, I, I should have I counted a little better. Anyway, uh, I think more dairy and eggs are coming in tomorrow for delivery and maybe some other stuff. So we'll show you guys that tomorrow. But for now, uh, I'm ready to collapse because I didn't sleep at all last night. And I'm, I'm surprised I worked five hours earlier. I, like an hour into it, I was feeling horrible. I was like, I need to go home and sleep. And then I felt okay enough, really, like when I got home for lunch, I was ready to pass out. And then after I ate and rested a little bit, um, I came back down and do a, another hour or two of work, I guess. Try to finish up some stuff, get some orders out, and um, should be smooth sailing moving forward. A little smoother. What's up, guys? It is Friday. A few things going on. We've got a few deliveries in, but before I show you guys anything, I did want to read some reviews that I've been meaning to all week. So first we have a review for the male virility on organ supplements. Amazing energy. This gives me amazing energy levels. I feel it within five minutes of taking it. I felt almost nothing using other organ supplement brands. And then we have five star review for the big brain product. Great product. I was taking a brain and memory product from another company at twice the cost of this one. And so far I feel just as good with one for way less money. Yeah, this is why I wanted to source the powders myself and I opted for not like going through a manufacturer where, you know, they would source the product and then put it into capsules and then 
you don't really know what they put in there and you can't test the powder before so uh, I'm glad you guys enjoy the product and it's working effectively we have all seven uh, I don't know if I said it in the vlog yesterday but I know I showed you guys the third eye and the female fertility but uh, we have all seven glands available now we got a five-star review for the EMF bed sheet floor mat from Wi-Fi shielding worth the money this sheet is really useful the twin is great as a window curtain panel scarf Body wrap, ground sheet, bed sheet, draped over a single tent, under a small bedside mat, or to wrap up in a tablet. It feels really nice and cool to the touch. I'm back to buy some more. I like how the white grounding cord blends with the baseboards when used as a curtain. The surge finish edges give it a professional finish. <laughs> He's making it sound like some type of uh, fashion statement, but I'm glad you have uh, multi-purposes for the EMF bed sheet. We also have the fabric you can buy on there and the canopies, Wi-Fi shielding.com. Uh, we got a five-star review for the organic pecan butter. OMGGG with like 10 G's. So good, on my waffles in the morning, in my coffee, on a banana, by the spoonful. What is with this wizard magic? I have to, I have to try more of that pecan butter. I have, to, I have to try it on my breakfast now. I've been trying to lower my fat intake, but out, out of all of the nuts that you could like blend up into a butter and use it, Pecan and hazelnut, I think, are the tastiest by far. And we got a five-star review for the pasture-raised chicken, corn and soy free. Delicious. I'm so fortunate to be able to order from him. This chicken's color is unlike any other chicken I have ever purchased. Moist and perfect. Uh, so we actually brought back the chicken share. So it's $155 and you're getting like $180 worth of chicken. So if you guys have been buying like the whole chickens, the breast, the thighs, the wings, uh, the drumsticks. We have like a package where you get like a whole chicken, six breasts, and then two packages each of thighs, wings, and drumsticks. And that's gonna be like a 20% discount from buying them separately if you guys do wanna buy the local chicken share now. We were gonna do the chicken share with the laying hen, the egg layer hen meat, but the meat was too tough. So we just brought back the chicken share with the regular chicken meat. Someone left a two-star review for the pasture-raised chicken in bone broth, plain chicken stew. Chicken in broth, I didn't expect the bland flavor. It fed my two small kids regarding quantity. All right, so when your kids have baddies lined up outside their apartment when they're in college because they're so tall and muscular, then maybe you can write me a check and thank me. <laughs> um, I mean, I told her to add salt, but the reason she gave me that review was for the price. And considering you can't even find the product online, it doesn't exist, I'm inclined to believe that's not true. I think that's it for the review, so let's walk around and show you guys what's going on. So we got all the fresh eggs, dairy products in to ship to you guys early next week. A few restocks. I think the main restocks are, we got some lamb shanks, we got some lamb loin chops, uh, we got some sirloin steak, there's a few more things we have to restock next week. And we got a lot more ground venison, so we might do a price reduction on the venison soon. But I mean, we're already selling venison for $10 a pound, so it doesn't get much cheaper. The eggs just sold out on the website, so now I can restock the chicken eggs. Uh, we still have plenty of uh, duck and quail eggs, though. And then we got all fresh dairy in. Uh, way too much butter again. Oh no, there's even more butter. <laughs> I was like, wait, is that here from last week still? Yeah, there's even more butter. So we're really trying to help our farmer out by buying the butter, but um, it, is, uh, it is a little too much probably. So if you guys want to help us out, help the farmer out, we have the butter available now. And uh, you could buy like five pounds at a time or 10 pounds at a time at a discount. Oh, here we also have uh, some of the turkey organs. So these are being sold as like an organ package so it's it's the gizzard the liver and the heart from each turkey uh, we'll have these on the website i'm not sure how much those are going to be because that's a limited amount this is all we have for the rest of the year all right so now we'll check out the freezer yeah so these are the lamb shoulder chops that we just restocked we got a lot more chicken in as usual uh, a lot of chicken came in, some chicken breast here. Uh, this is the ground beef that we have for this week. 8515 organic ground beef. 
We're gonna have the fresh local beef in next week. We got this ground venison too. So after we sell the, the fresh ground venison, we'll, we'll be selling this one. Yeah, these are the, the lamb shanks that are back in stock. And then this is all the, the cut up turkey meat. So here we have turkey heads. Kind of funky looking. These are the turkey drumsticks. We have individual drumsticks. Turkey thighs, individually wrapped. Turkey wings, individually wrapped. And then here we have the, the turkey breast. The big breast, individually wrapped. The breasts are like three to four pounds, but the rest of the stuff is pretty reasonably sized. I don't know what it is in there today, but even just being in there for like a minute, my hands are like ice. My hands are really, really cold. Yeah, I wanted to get out of there before my hands start freezing and before the camera starts freezing because uh, it feels a lot colder in there than usual today. But the turkey hole are available now for the Thanksgiving share. We're gonna ship out the 15 and 16 pounds birds first. Then as soon as the farmer gives me the full inventory, we'll have the whole birds available depending on the poundage. Uh, those parts are gonna be available. I have the official weight written down. Most of the turkey thighs are one and a half pounds. That's for an individual thigh. The drumsticks are one pound or one and a half pounds. And as I said, the breasts are between three and four pounds. The turkey wings are around a pound and a half. I think it's the each individual wing single packaged. So now we have turkey parts available if you want like a smaller portion uh, for your lunch or dinner for yourself. And then we also have the whole turkeys are available for holiday, Thanksgiving, or you know, if you just want to make a whole turkey. Leo, it's 80, 86 in there. It's 90 degrees. My guys are trying to, to cook my sauerkraut again. <laughs> I don't know if they left it on. Oh my God. Yeah, so it's been two weeks since we started those fermentations for temp number two. Uh, so next weekend, they should be done. The sauerkraut and the pickles should be available next weekend. But uh, I think that's everything for today, guys. I'm gonna try to do a few hours of work, but nothing nothing too crazy needs to be done this week we're gonna finish the the beef in beef broth is gonna be restocked we still have a few of the chicken and chicken broth but maybe we'll do that next week and uh maybe some more some more restocks and we should be getting some more stuff in next week uh the big thing i think i mentioned it a few times in this vlog already should be uh we should get the fresh beef back we'll have the local meat ground meat and we'll have the steak share and then maybe some pet food, hopefully. There was supposed to be a delivery from FedEx today. I don't see it. So maybe it hasn't come yet. That was supposed to be the, the final organ supplements package. So maybe we'll be showing that to you guys tomorrow. But I believe that is everything for the Friday vlog. I will see you guys for Saturday. Am I in focus? Who cares? It is Saturday, guys. Working as usual. I'm just in like a haze of being over for the past three years, as you guys can tell. Uh, I think I showed you several times this week. The organ supplement selection is now available. Third eye and female fertility finally came in. And what was delivered yesterday and <laughs> left outside the front door, as usual, by FedEx, is the new Mastic. They actually, they individually wrapped each of these bottles in like a cheap plastic liner, which is just more work for me to undo. They didn't do that last time. But, mastic gum. So instead of like having to grind the mastic pebbles into powder, which I personally like doing, we now have mastic powder in gelatin capsules. And the one thing that I was worried about when buying these, like when I used to get them on Amazon, I wasn't sure if it was legitimately mastic, but like when you open these capsules up and you smell them, because I, I made sure that the mastic powder was shipped directly from Greece to the, the manufacturer and I paid for the mastic myself and then I had them put it in the capsules. So 
just be careful when you're buying stuff online. Uh, I'm not sure how much this is gonna be, but it's twice the amount of capsules that normally go in these bottles. Like this is 150 capsules. I think it's gonna be like 35, $40. Whereas normally they sell like 70 or 80 capsules on Amazon for like 20 bucks, but I don't believe that because with the margins Amazon has and how much mastic costs, I don't think it's legitimately mastic powder in those, but this is really convenient. Like I'm not gonna use this stuff at home. I prefer grinding it up and having the powder fresh in my digestive system. But now like if I have to travel, if I'm on the go, if I'm going somewhere for lunch, if I want something convenient, this is like 100% necessary because you can't like bring a bowl of mastic powder with you when you're traveling around and use a spoon. It's just a mess, it's difficult to do. This is very, very, very convenient. So I'm happy we have the mastic gum. This will be available on the website in the mastic gum uh, in the digestive section uh, with all the other stuff on OregonSupplements.com. So everything's in. I'm excited. Uh, let me go show you guys the, uh, the stuff in the freezer. It was so cold in there yesterday. I, I didn't think it was just because the other evaporators were on, but maybe my guys are making breakfast burritos for lunch instead of a... Uh, I usually go to Subway or I get a McDonald's or something. So over here, we're just labeling the turkey giblets. This is how the turkey organs came from the cut up turkey. So it's the liver, the heart, and the gizzard all together. I think I showed you guys this yesterday, uh, but we'll have this available, very limited amount online. I think there's only like 20 or 30 of them. And there's like eight turkey necks they send separately. So I'll, I guess I'll have eight turkey necks for sale. I don't, I don't know. All right, so in the freezer, we ground up some more of the chicken breast. Uh, guys, this is only $14 a pound online. $14 a pound for corn and soy free, lean chicken breast. I mean, I think it's the only corn and soy free ground chicken breast that even exists online. So that's all ground up. I showed you guys that that's the new ground beef for this week. That's some lamb chops. We got too much chicken, way too much chicken. Way too much chicken. My guys restock the organ grind. Uh, we only charge $10 a pound for this right now. Great price. This is all the pork share that we showed you guys last week. We got bacon. We got, that's the shoulder chop. This is liverwurst, ground pork, pork chops, and plenty of nice thinly sliced ham which I'm very excited about. And then as soon as we run out of this, he's got some more pigs that are gonna be even fatter because the farmer has some extra milk that he's been giving to the pigs. So in a month or two, when we do the next pork share, they're gonna be a little fattier. Uh, so now that it's not as ice cold in here, we're gonna take another look at the turkey parts. <laughs> These are kind of sad. The turkey, the turkey's giving me the side eye. <laughs> Uh, these these are cheap. The, you, I mean, I think a lot of people use these as dog treats. These are great like chew toys for your dog or pet. They'll love them. Or you can make stock with the heads. Or if you're crazy like me, maybe crack the head open and eat some turkey brains. These are the individual turkey drumsticks. Packed up nice and single. This is the turkey breast. These are kind of big. Uh, we're actually going to be making deli meat with these. And we'll have them online, but we're prioritizing the deli meat. The turkey thighs are individually wrapped as well. You get one nice turkey thigh, and then we have the turkey wings, which are also just, you know, it's one, one single wing per package. And the difference between a turkey wing and a chicken wing is that the turkey wing is actually like enough meat to feed you. Whereas chicken wings, you need like 15 of them to have a meal. And up here and up there, we have the heavier whole turkeys. And then over here, if I don't break my neck, we have the, the regular whole turkeys that are going out for Thanksgiving. Yeah, the turkeys are too big to be vacuum sealed, so they have to be, it's called like a hot dip um, for, for the wrapping around them. So there might be a little ice in there, but it's not really that big of a deal because they're so fresh. Yeah, I got an email from this other farm that's selling uh, pasture-raised turkey, allegedly, but it doesn't say corn and soy free, so 
these people are selling what they're calling pasture raised turkey at like the same price as us except they're being a little deceptive about the uh the marketing and they didn't charge shipping go figure uh just a quick reminder for you guys if you place an order less than 100 dollars, it will be canceled uh less than 130 dollars for west coast will be canceled we just can't ship that volume of product anymore if you guys want like tallow or non-perishable stuff it's available on uh, frankiestrangefoods.com and some of you guys are like oh let me pay for shipping and then i tell them well shipping is going to be 55 dollars they don't respond so go figure we had one review someone was happy about the iberico pork bacon which we are sold out of i think we're also sold out of the beef bacon uh those should be back next week like the week after next so right now it's november 11th veterans day holiday well yesterday was veterans day. i don't know i don't know which day is the actual holiday but uh the 21st so like a week and a half from now we're gonna have the week of thanksgiving we're gonna be restocking all the beef bacon and the pork bacon and all that stuff so we won't have it for about a week but i think i showed you guys yesterday the dairy came in we restocked the eggs everything is ready to go next week that should be it for today. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work down here and then maybe call it a Home Depot and then do some stuff in my house. So my tie down some tarps so my barbecue equipment doesn't get ruined over the winter that I haven't used at all. Uh, but I'll see you guys for Sunday, I guess. What's up, guys? It is Sunday, last day of the vlog this week. I don't think there's much to show you guys. We kind of went over everything the whole week. A lot of new stuff going on in general pork share is available we got the chicken share back turkeys are available for thanksgiving and whole turkeys and then we just have the turkey parts separately if you guys want the parts my guys are are making the water keeper we have most of the water keeper and the water keeper grains in stock on frankiestrangefoods.com i think the main thing we're missing on there is uh is the best bars which we won't have more whey protein until next month so yeah nothing going on in the fridge we got most of the eggs sold and packed up oh, you guys didn't buy as much of that jardinera as i thought it should be fine for another few weeks and then we'll have the uh we'll have the sauerkraut and the pickles next weekend so some people will probably buy the jardinera with those when they're in yeah my guys have all the meat orders packed up i don't think i've ever been here in here with everything off that kind of scares me it says it's nine degrees in here all right if those don't turn back on i might have a conniption but i'm gonna go outside and check those units that's why i was one unit wasn't working there was like a slow leak in the freon so we never got it really fixed and it's colder now so we don't really need it but now if another unit goes we're screwed, so since there isn't much else to show you guys, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog for uh, for this week. Definitely, uh, definitely make sure to check out the meat website. Make sure to subscribe to the newsletter if you have not, where we send out the emails of like the restock stuff and what's new this week. But uh, I'm gonna go check that freezer before I have a stroke. <laughs> Never ends.